I'm joined by last but not least Cork's Seamus Harnity. I'd say you're pretty tired of these interviews by now. I think I'm interview 1037. Ah, look, there's a there's a few done now already today, but look, I suppose it's great to be here today. And you know, you've you've six lads who who are all kind of you know looking forward to the All Ireland series starting. So it's great. It's a great sign that we're still here. Definitely, and it's a great place to be. And I said this as a Galwegian that we'd love to have somebody here today, but we don't. But you yourselves, I suppose, in the Munster Championship, I was slagging people in the Leinster Championship saying, Do you ever wish you were playing in Munster? Because I thought Munster was so much more competitive last year. The tables have turned. Now you couldn't predict anything that happens anymore. So to still be in it, you must be thinking, I'm quite proud of myself in one sense. Uh, look, yeah, I suppose John set us the objective at the start of the year, you know, just to qualify for the for the All Ireland series, and obviously you want to be in a Munster final, and, and that's where we all aspire to be. But look, we're just ha- very, very happy that look the objective of qualifying for the All Ireland series is met, because you saw what happened to Galway. Unfortunately, you know, with eight minutes to go, they were top of the table, and and, and ultimately found did themselves yeah being knocked out and you know tough circumstances and we were lucky in that aspect as well you know we were on the pitch after the clear game not knowing what our fate was so look just thrilled to be still in it and eagerly uh, awaiting now a quarter final I was actually at that clear game the weather was atrocious uh, it just certainly didn't help you guys and safe to say John Myler while he was delighted that you had survived and you've gotten through he wasn't 100% happy with your performance I think he said something to me along the lines of you know I hope maybe some of the lightning strikes might put a bit of fire into them even because it began thunder and lightning and everything but um, still delighted to be there but obviously he was of the opinion there was a lot more to be done yeah look there's always something and there's always you can, something you can learn from each game and as as you hit the nail on the head there, we weren't uh, entirely happy with our performance. You know, obviously got off to a slow start and conceded an early goal, which is disappointing. But um, you know, uh, really started coming back into the game the second half, and I suppose it was ultra difficult in the conditions. You know, especially when you're four or five points down, you're chasing a lead in that weather. But look, we won't deal in excuses. Um, it was the same for both teams. It's something you know there was there was parts and elements of our game that weren't up to scratch on that day when something we'll have to, to work on but um, yeah so hopefully get them right and, and back to training now tonight and preparing for Sunday When you had your game then obviously against Westmeads at the weekend and no disrespect to Westmeads but it probably when you want a tough game maybe to gauge where you are that probably wasn't the mark but at the same time it brings its own challenge because a team like Westmeads do bring other challenges that other teams don't bring and then you beat them, but you have to kind of turn the page straight away, not even think, geez, we had a great win there because you've got another big one coming up now this weekend. Absolutely, look, and, and in fairness to Westmead, you know, it's always going to be tough after losing to Joe McDonough final, you know, the week before. It was tough for them, you know, to turn it around, you know, whereas Leash, you know, are in the back of victory, kind of propelled them into the week going forward. But, um, yeah, certainly, um, look, games games are where you find out the most about yourself and no 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 amount of training will replicate a game scenario so we were happy to you know to get another game under our belt see what the lads you know that hadn't got much game time during the year there was a few of them you know that were training very hard and performing hard in training and got the right to start the last day so they put their hands up for selection as well so yeah look things things are all gearing up now but um i suppose look this sunday is a huge threat as well and, and we're under no illusions that you know it'll be an absolutely you know a huge task now to, to get over to the weekend what kind of game do you expect it to be Ah, it's hard to tell, you know. Um, obviously, you don't know what what's going to come. You can only let me rephrase it. What yeah. kind of game would you like it to be? I don't know. I, <laughs> I suppose. Look, um, it's going to be it's going to be very obviously dependent on the weather and whatnot. But look, um, it's meant to be very nice. Is it? That's yeah. okay. Look, but we can only control the controllables. We can only turn up on our best selves and and deliver the best performance. And and hopefully, every everything else will look after itself. But look, Kilkenny are a very very good team. Do you know the calibre of player they they have in their team. You know they can seriously hurt you in any and in any, any given day and, and they'll be thinking the same that they can go the whole way but um, look uh, as a player you know it's a, it's a qualifying of an all Ireland series there are days you should relish you know and up in Crow Park you know any day you're in there you know it's a proud day to put on the jersey so just looking forward to it Yeah the last time I saw you guys in Crow Park was obviously that semi-final against Limerick and you played out of your skins and if the game had gone on for another minute or whatever the pendulum might have swung again in your favour and afterwards I spoke to John Myler and he was crestfallen, as you can imagine. And I heard him do an interview a few weeks later. I think he was promoting the Wild Atlantic Way or something. And he was in the cycling, really helped him get his head back on track. It must have taken a long time to get over that hurt because he really verbalised it. I felt really, really well. You felt it with him. Yeah, it was a tough, it was tough 28, 48 hours after the game. And, you know, obviously, you know, being in such a good position late on in the game. It was a tough defeat to take. But I suppose, look, um, in, in the J, let's say, environment, there's always going to be setbacks along the way. And it's about learning from from what went wrong that day and, and you know, carrying it on 
uh, as best as you can. But look, I was delighted I was back in with the club and back in training the following week. And I was playing, you know, championship with the divisional side as well. And games help you get on with it as well. And, you know, you just have to learn from them occasions. Unfortunately, you can't alter the past. And once the game is done, it's done. Um, so, look, uh, we, we, we still uh, have learned from that game. I, I think we've learned lots from it. So, yeah, yeah, time will tell, I suppose. Yeah, it's very, I know it's very easy to say, oh, we learned a lot from it. And you're thinking, but you're still thinking, God, that was kind of a horrible ending to a day that we did lots of things very, very right. But at the same time, I assume that kind of experience stands to you for next weekend. Now you're going in again now with that Crow Park experience and that, albeit it didn't go the way you planned it, you guys know you can grind stuff out there. Yeah, absolutely. Look, uh, a lot of lads performed very well, you know. There was uh, very few players that didn't perform today, the level required. So, look, it was a great experience for some of the younger lads in the team. Um, as I said, you know, they'll hopefully learn from them setbacks as, as the older lads will do. So, look, it, it's good experience. At least they won't be going into an environment that they haven't been used to before. And, look, if it's set into ball by, you know, hopefully we can reach and perform themselves again. It's it's a shame in one sense that um, I was just looking at the fixtures myself last night and I come from a dual county so I know it's like you want to support both sets of players and it is an awful shame that the footballers are on one night and the hurlers on the other night and I know the two sets of supporters in Cork can be different but I'm sure you would have loved a Cork double header in Crow Park. Yeah, it would have been great. I suppose you get a couple more thousand there with the overlap following both. So yeah, look, it is tough for gang, but you know, hopefully they might up on the Saturday night and stay and, and support on both sets. So look, it's great that both teams are there. You know, the footballers are great win last weekend. So look, we'll get behind them on Saturday night and, and, and hopefully the lads will hang on and uh, support us on the Sunday. Lovely. Thank you very much. Best of luck, Seamus. Thank you.